Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to create an empty plot in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples will create an empty plot window in R Studio. So in the first example I'm going to use the plot new function as you can see in line 4 of the code. And the plot new function is basically designed to create empty plot windows. And for that reason, we don't need to specify anything within the plot new function. We can simply run the function. And then you will see that at the bottom right in the plot window, an empty plot is created. Or in other words, the plot new function is just creating a wide area at the bottom right in your R Studio. So as you have seen, it is quite simple to create an empty plot area in the R programming language by using the plot new function. However, it is also possible to use the original plot function in order to create an empty plot. And this is what I'm going to show you in, in the second example. And in this example, I'm simply specifying everything within the plot function to be blank. So the type of our points is blank, our xlab is blank, our ylab is blank, and then we are also specifying our xlim and ylim to assign axis limits to our plot and if you run this whole code then you will see that a new plot is created at the bottom right of R Studio, and you can also see that this plot is again an empty plot however this time you also see the axis and some lines around your plot window so depending on your specific needs, you might either use the plot new function to create a wide area which is completely empty, or you might use the plot function and then you can remove everything that you don't want to show within the plot function. So in this video, I have shown you how to create an empty plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.